वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन द चैनल मासिद मुनीर आई होप डेट यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेड एंड वॉचिंग माई वीडियोज इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव लर्न एंड वी हैव टॉक अबाउट डेरीवेटिव वेयर आवर फोकस वॉज टू लर्न अबाउट वट आर डेरीवेटिव एंड हाउ वी कैन यूज दैम एंड इन मोर डिटेल वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ एन एक्सप्लिसिट फंक्शन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू फर्स्ट वेरी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल एंड वी हैव लर्न अबाउट सम बेसिक रूल्स ऑफ डेरीवेटिव सच एज पावर रूल प्रोडक्ट रूल and the question rule as well so today we are going to we are going to learn about uh, implicit functions and let me tell you in detail we have several types of functions in which linear functions identity functions constant functions trigonometric functions parametric functions inverse function hyperbolic functions inverse hyperbolic functions even functions odd functions and uh, explicit function and implicit functions as well so there is lot to cover in this topic functions and i am trying my best to provide you as much as videos i can up related to the several topics so that it could be helpful for you and i i am glad that my videos are helping you well so we are going to learn today about how to find or how to find out the derivative of an implicit implicit functions in order to do that let me give you a quick definition about implicit function and explicit function as well so that once you compare them both you have a better understanding about what are explicit function and implicit function as well okay when we know we know that uh, y we always take y as a as a dependent variable and x as an independent variable in 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 math but it could be vice versa as well okay so when a dependent variable is basically written in terms of independent variable such as y is a function of f of x then these types of function we say that they are explicit function now why they are explicit function because we can separate the independent variable to the one side of the equation and dependent variable to the other side of the equation or we can say that y is clearly stated in terms of uh, Uh, dependent variable is clearly stated in terms of uh, independent variable so such type of function are uh, are called explicit function when it is difficult for us to differentiate or separate the de dependent variable from independent variable then we say that these types of uh, function are implicit function so implicit function is basically you can say impossible it is from so it is for you you know we always have some tricks Uh, to, in order to remember explicit mean explainable right so implicit means impossible so these are the several tricks for you so that you could remember about explicit and implicit implicit function okay now on board you can see we have two implicit functions and we can find out their derivative so this is basically the general form of explicit function and implicit function can always be written as r is a function of x comma y equals to 0 okay now we are going to start with the first example and we will see how we can find out the derivative so if you are new to my channel then please do consider watching the playlist of derivative i guess i have three to four videos over there for you and you can once you are very good in them once you have learned all those things then you can watch this video later okay so we can find or we can take the d by dx derivatives on both side x square plus xy plus y square is equals to 2 now okay so once we have applied or we have taken the d by dx on both side we can separate it on left hand side of the equation and on the right side of the equation as well okay now we can apply the d by dx on individual terms so it would be d by dx of uh, x square plus d by dx of uh, x com x y plus d by dx of y square okay when we know that when we are taking the derivative of independent variable with respect to independent variable it always give you one so whenever you have a power so first you are going to apply the power rule which is 2x and once you take the derivative of x with respect to x that is going to give you one so i am not going into that much detail because i have already explained these things 
in the playlist of derivative so i'm encouraging you to watch please that and then you can come back to this video later okay now over here we can see that we are having the product of dependent and uh, dependent and independent variable so how we can find out the der derivative so simply we can apply the product rule which says that you can uh, take the first term as a, as a constant not exactly a constant but as a constant and you are going to take the derivative of the second term which is y so it will say dy by dx okay now once you are now you have taken the derivative of y now you are going to keep it as first and you will be taking the derivative of uh, x with respect to x now we are done with this whole bracket okay y square again we will apply first power rule which says 2y and once we ignore this power which is 2 and you are going to take the derivative of y with respect to x that would be dy by dx okay now the other thing is that i am going to do yeah i will be simplifying this first so it would be 2x plus x dy by dx and we have equals to zero sorry i forgot to mention over here once you are taking the derivative of a constant term with respect to x that is going to give you zero and how it will give a zero i have explained that in detail in the playlist of derivative now y and derivative of x with respect to x is going to give you one and then the last term plus 2y dy by dx equals to zero okay now 2x we are we will be writing the dy by dx on on left hand side of the equation and whatever we have other than that we are going to shift to the other side of the equation so it would be x plus 2y and i can take dy by dx common so if i shift 2x that would be minus and i if i shift y to the other side that would be minus as well so i can write minus into y plus 2x so we have to find dy by dx so i can keep it on this side and the rest will move to the other side and that would become like this so that is the answer for this implicit function and this is how you can find out the derivative so if you are familiar about how to apply the power rule and if you are very well aware of how to apply the product rule and we, you know that how to take the derivative of a constant uh, constant function then obviously you can find out the derivative of an implicit function as well so i hope that you are having copy and pen with you and you are noting down uh, every single step for better understanding of you okay now i am going to erase this so we will be having some more space in order to solve the second question which looks more complex as compared to the first one okay so how we are going to do that by keeping the same step in your mind we are going to apply d by dx on both sides of the equation so it would be d by dx of 4x squared plus 2hxy plus by squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c and then we will be having d by dx which is not necessarily we need to write but i can write it since i am taking d by dx over here and that's why i am applying over here as well okay now i am not going to break the way i have break uh, break it down d by dx for every single term on this side but i am going to do that directly so once you are taking the derivative of uh, 4x square that is going to give you 8x and i hope now after watching the playlist of derivative and after seeing me solving the first question now you have an understanding about what the derivative it could be for the 4x square so it will it is 8x now a 2hxy so once you are having the product of x and y i mean the multiplication of dependent and independent variable so we know that we have to apply the uh, product rule since 2h is basically basically constant so i can keep it to the out outside and i will be writing xy in one bracket so that i can take the derivative okay plus now b is constant and i have to take the derivative of y square only plus 2g is constant and once you take the derivative of x with respect to x that is going to 1 so no need to write plus 2f what about y the derivative of y with respect to x that would be dy by dx 
So, I can write dy by dx and for constant function is der derivative is going to be 0 and how it is going to 0 you have to watch that playlist of derivative and again that is going to give you 0. Now, we can simplify this this is 8x plus 2h you have to write the square bracket over here because this 2h is going to multiply with every single term of, uh, of this bracket. So, you have to make sure that you are using proper bracket. So, you are going to write x at first and you will be taking the derivative of y which is going to be dy by dx plus now you will be writing y and derivative of x with respect to x is going to give you 1 and that is your bracket close. Now, we will move to this b and derivative of y square you have to apply first power rule which is 2y and then you are taking derivative uh, by ignoring power so it would be dy by dx plus 2g and plus 2f dy by dx is equals to 0. Now, what I, have, what I have to do over here, I have to multiply this 2h to the every single term written inside of this bracket and I have to write it in a proper form this. Then I will be rearranging my terms by writing dy by dx and to the one side of the equation and by moving all the other term to the other side. Okay, so um, 8x, let me erase this whole portion and this question as well since we do not need it anymore so that we could have some more space over here. Now, 8x plus 2hx dy by dx plus once you multiply 2h with that that is going to become 2hy now plus this would be 2by dy by dx plus and uh, did i did right 2hx dy by dx plus 2hy okay then 2by dy by dx okay that's right now plus 2g plus 2f dy by dx is equals to 0. Now, I can remove this as well since we do not need it and this as well. Okay. Now, I am writing the dy by dx term on this side 2hx plus 2by I can, I can put a tick this is done this is done plus 2f and dy by dx is basically outside equals to once I shift 8x it would be minus this would be minus and this would be minus as well. So, I can take minus outside and I will be writing 2g plus 2hy plus 2hx ok. Now, we are done with that. So, we can remove this as well we do not need it ok. Now, we have to find dy by dx. So, you can shift this term to the other side of the equation and that would become 2g plus 2hy plus 2hx over 2hx plus 2by plus 2f. Now, we can take two common from numerator and denominator as well. So, we will be having ok. So, that was 2hx 2hx plus 2by plus 2f equals to let me see if somewhere I am making mistake minus 2g plus 2hy this is 8x ok. So, I shifted the wrong term. So, that is going to be your 8x. So, that would also be 8x ok. Now, we can take two common from numerator and denominator we will be having g plus hy plus 4x over hx plus by plus f and that would be your answer dy by dx. So, this is how basically we can find out the derivative of an implicit function. So, if you know all the rules you can find it out very easily. So, I hope that my videos are help helping you well and it developing a better understanding for you in terms of mathematics. So, I will be solving some more 
uh, sub topics of derivative so that you have a better uh, knowledge of all that so if you are new to my channel please do consider subscribing and share these video videos to as much as friends you can so that it could help all of you